coming out that chimney. I, I bet that old fireman is busy. That was gonna seem like every time there's excursion, I'm always broke. Yeah, and you wouldn't be broke if you'd go to work. I, I would work if I could find any pleasure in it. Well, I don't know anything about pleasure, but boy, always remember that the early bird catches a worm. The early bird catches what worm? Why, any worm. Why, who cares about that? Everybody knows the early bird catches a worm. Well, what of it? What about it? Catches it, that's all. Well, let him have it. Who, who wants a worm, anyhow? What, what's his idea in catching a worm? Why, he catches a worm because he wants it. Well, well, what does he want with it? Well, how do I know what he wants? Uh, well, how you know he wants it? How you know that? Well, what's his idea catching it if you don't want it? Well, well what's the worm's idea in being there? Why, the worm lives there. Uh, he lives where? He lives where he is. Doggone, I don't even know where he is. I don't know that. Why, he's home. That's where he is. Well, I'd rather not hear any more about it. Uh, where, which is the early bird? Which bird is early? Why, the first bird gets there is the early bird. Well, what causes that? Because he's the first bird there. Yeah, but uh, suppose some other bird got there ahead of him. Boy, you don't seem to know anything. What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. I don't feel well. well what's the matter with you? Oh, I don't know. I was the doctor, and he told me what to do, but I didn't do it. He said to take one pill three times a day, but you can't do that. Well, what else did the doctor say? Well, he, he said my veins are too close together. He said what? He said I had very close veins. Boy, even if that was good, I wouldn't like it. Uh, boy, I'd play anything on this. Yeah, you can't play piano on that. You couldn't do that. No, but I can play any tune you want. Oh, well, maybe you've been in some big show sometime. What show was you in? I played this horn in the Metropolitan Opera Company. I was the head man in that show. Oh, you've been in better shows than that. Well, I hope to tell you, I was in Neil O'Brien's Minstrels. I was the head man in that show. Well, what, what kind of man is a head man? What do you do, carry the trunks or what? Oh, I didn't carry the trunks. I was the head man in that show. I was way ahead of everybody. Yeah, I bet you were so far ahead you wasn't in it. And then I was in that sad show called Uncle Tom's Cabin. I was the head man in that show. Oh, some little old country show I never even heard of. It. You never heard of Uncle Tom's Cabin? No, I, I never heard of it. Did you ever hear of Adam and Eve? I heard of them, but you wasn't the head man in that show. Doggone it, Amos. You, you've been in all those shows. You, you must have traveled restrictively, huh? Traveled? Boy, I've been all over Europe, Asia, Cincinnati. C Cincinnati, Ojo. Ojo. Ohio. How you spell it? Capital O-H-10. Now, i never been there, but I've been all over Rome. Right, we, we used to live in Rome. We had a farm in Rome. Well, what did you raise on your farm? Oh, it was just a small farm. It, it wasn't much. Yes, I know, but how big was it? Oh, it was just there. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned it. Now, we, we only raised gooper feathers, that's about all. Gooper feathers? Yeah, for the king's pillow. D didn't you ever sleep on Gooper feathers? Well, I never heard of them. Oh, no, they are so soft. Gooper feathers? Well, what are they made of? Uh, they fuzz from peaches. Well, did you raise any olives? Well, we, we didn't exactly raise them. We, we made them out of green peas. We knew how. You made olives? Yeah, we put green peas in vinegar, and when they swell up, they are olives. Well, how did you get the stones in the olives? Oh, what's your idea of bringing that up? And then we used to grow pigs. Grow your own pigs? Well, we used to buy young pigs in August, and then we would sell them in April. What did you pay for the pigs in August? A certain amount. 
Yes, I know, but how much? Uh, four dollars each. And what did you sell them for in April? Uh, four dollars each. You paid four dollars in August and sold them in April for four dollars? Yes. Well, you can't make any money that way. No, we found that out. And we, we have a horses. Oh, you have eight horses. No, not eight horses. A horses. A. Uh. And we found out that white horses eat more than black horses, so we sold all the white horses. The white horses eat more than the black horses? Yeah, the white ones eat more. Oh, that's silly. Why should the white horses eat more than the black horses? Oh, I wouldn't be bothered with that. We tried every way to figure it out, and we couldn't figure any reason unless it was because we had more of the white horses. Well, did you have any chickens? Yeah, we, we had a thousand chickens and 999 laid eggs. What's the matter with the other one? Uh, he was a head man. Well, boy, I'm going down to feed the pigs, so I'll meet you down at the pig pen. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you down at the pig pen. You, you better keep your hat on so I'll know you. Yeah, goodbye. I'll be seeing you. Well, I, I won't have time to meet you down to pig pen, so I'll meet you down to post office at 7 o'clock. Yes, if, if I get there first, I'll make a blue line. If you get there first, you rub it out. Boy, what's your idea arguing that man about being a man in the moon? Well, I, I believe there is a man in the moon. I believe that. Well, you told that man you spoke to the man in the moon. Yeah, but I didn't say he answered me. I wouldn't do that. Did you ever see the man in the moon? No, I never saw him, no. Did you ever see anybody ever did see the man in the moon? Uh, maybe I don't believe I did, no. But you ever seen anybody ever saw anybody said they saw anybody said they saw the man in the moon? No, I'd rather not be bothered with that. But I, I dreamed there was a man in the moon, and I believe in dreams. Do you? Nobody believes in dreams. Oh, I believe them. Well, I don't. I still do. I never did until one night I dreamed I was eating flannel cakes and when I woke up the blanket was gone. And I had another dream. I dreamed I was awake and when I woke up I was asleep. Well, I bet that argument you had with that dog catcher was no dream. Oh, I wasn't arguing with that dog catcher. He, he wasn't putting me in his wagon, he did. Oh, he didn't want to put you in the wagon. He wanted to put your dog in the wagon. No, he had him. Well, what kind of a dog was it? A Newfoundland? Oh, no, 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 no. A shepherd? Oh, no, no. An Airedale? Uh, he believes he is, but he's not. Well, is he a fox terrier? Oh, no, no, no. Great Dane? No, you're only wasting time. Because even if you guess what he is, I wouldn't know. Well, I know what he is. He's a Pekingese. Yes, I guess he is, but I really don't know what he is. Well, what would you say its parents were? Uh, careless. He, uh, he's a tall dog like that. He's tall. Well, what do you feed the dog? Meat? No, he, uh, he won't eat meat. That's funny. I never heard of a dog wouldn't eat meat. Oh, yes, you have. You heard of him. He wouldn't eat it. Well, why not? Well, he had a reason for it. What reason? Uh, we didn't give him any. Well, he had bad luck. He was crossing the railroad track, and a train came before he got by. And a train cut his tail off. The train cut the dog's tail off? Yeah, what do you know about that? Uh, oh, boy, that's bad. When a dog gets his tail cut off, he's got nothing to guide him or nothing to balance him. True, brother, true. Certainly must have hurt his carriage. Oh, behave yourself. He, he got his tail cut off. That's what I say. It must have hurt his carriage. No, it didn't hurt his carriage, but it ruined his wagon. Boy, don't you know you ain't never going to mount anything hanging around these dance halls? Oh, I, I like it around here. I think it luxurious around here. Look at that lady with that pretty red hat. Isn't she pretty? Huh? 
I certainly would appreciate it if I could enjoy myself like that. Oh, boy, you don't appreciate anything. Oh, I appreciate it. Appreciateable. Well, how about that job I got you last week? Oh, that wasn't no good job, was it? Mm -hmm. Why, certainly, that was the best kind of job. All you had to do was stick your head through that little hole in the canvas, and when the man throws the egg at you, all you had to do was duck. Duck the egg. Boy, I, I don't want to hear no more about that job. That left-handed man was brutal. Well, how do you mean? Oh, you knew that man rung in a billiard ball on me. You knew, though. Well, you don't mean to tell me the man rung in a billiard ball on you. Yeah, that ain't all. Believe me, he had some English on that ball. Well, when you saw the ball coming, why didn't you duck? Oh, I did duck. Oh, you did duck? Yeah, but it seemed like I paused too long. Well, when the billiard ball hit you on the head, did it hurt? Oh, how could a billiard ball hurt you ahead? No, it just seemed like a dream, that's about all. But I didn't like that job. I'd rather train lions than like that. Well, you know, to be a lion trainer, you've got to be very quick. Well, I'm quick. Well, how quick? Oh, I'm so quick. When I go to bed at night, I turn out the light 20 feet from the bed, and I'm in bed before the room is dark. Boy, when are you going to stop lying? No, that's a fact that all you got to do to train lions, you just throw salt on his tail, and then you got him or else. Else what? Else you in the awful fix. No, the first thing you do, you get up early in the morning, you go down to the lion's cage and get a great big piece of raw meat. Mm -hmm. You throw the raw meat into the lion's cage. Uh-oh. And then all you do, you open the door, jump inside the cage, and take the raw meat away from the lion. Oh, behave yourself. Boy, you, you got live van and mix up with suicide. And then all you do, you look the line right straight in the eye and make him believe you're not afraid of it. I, I couldn't be so deceitful. I couldn't do that. All, all I'd rather do like Daniel did in Lion's Den. That's the way I like to train him. Well, I hope you don't believe all you heard about Daniel in the Lion's Den, do you? Well, I, I don't believe he swallowed the whale. I don't believe that. But I believe Daniel was in the Lion's Den and the wild lion never touched Daniel. Yeah, they were no wild, ferocious mountain lions. They were old circus lions. Oh, man, this happened way back in B.C. B. what? B.C., before circuses.